Welcome back. The European Union has renewed sanctions against Zimbabwe's state-owned armed manufacturing firm. It's citing continuous human rights violations by President Emerson Mnangagwa's regime. Earlier this month, to remind you, the UK imposed targeted sanctions on four Zimbabwean defense and security officials for their alleged role in rights abuses. Our correspondent in Zimbabwe, Pindai Dube, reports. In a statement, the EU says Zimbabwe's economic and social crisis has deepened even further. It went on to say it is especially concerned about continuous arrest and prosecution of journalists and opposition activists. The EU has now decided to renew its arms embargo and to maintain targeted assets freeze against the Zimbabwe defense industries. Human rights lawyers and opposition are praising this latest move. There is a documented abuse of human rights in Zimbabwe. We can do better than this. There is no reason for arresting people who would not have committed an offense which is recognizable at law. People are being uh, arrested for merely expressing their opinion. People are being arrested for demonstrating in terms of the constitution, for exercising their constitutionally guaranteed right. Opposition MDC Alliance spokesperson Fadzai Mayere, who was also recently thrown in remand prison for tweeting about human rights violations in the country, says Munangaba's government deserves the sanctions. All the lies that they told the international community that Zimbabwe was on a path of reform have all um, been shown to be a complete farce. Everyone can now see that the mask has fallen. We also see that Mr. Mnangagwa himself said last year that he's going to flush out his opponents. So we see this consistent attack against the main opposition, the MDC alliance. And Mr. Mnangagwa recently said in a statement that he was, you know, going to deal with Ms. Uh, President Chamisa. Zimbabwe is also under targeted U.S. sanctions imposed 20 years ago, including financial and visa sanctions against selected individuals. Pindai Dube, Harare.